Hey guys, Taylor here from Hipfire. Welcome to What's in the Box, and today we're going to be talking about Gear 4 cases and D3O material. So D3O is a shock absorbent material that when it's in its resting state, as you can see here, it's very flexible, it's almost liquid-like. But when it's impacted or when it receives shock, it locks up and the, and the force is actually distributed throughout the material. So this is used in things like hockey equipment, biking gear, skiing gear, and also phone cases. In order to test this material, we wanted something that was very similar, so we chose Silly Putty. Silly Putty, to the naked eye, looks very similar, and we wanted to just make sure that there was no diff that there was in fact a difference, sorry, between Silly Putty and D3O. To conduct this test, we wrapped one egg in Silly Putty and the other in D3O, and dropped them from the exact same height um, to see whether or not the D3O really was a better shock absorber than regular Silly Putty, because at first glance, they look very similar. So as you can see here, when the eggs were dropped, the Silly Putty wrapped egg cracked on impact and the one with D3O survived the drop. So this really does prove our, our point that D3O does work better in, in absorbing the shock compared to your standard Silly Putty material. Moving on to the Gear 4 cases. These are your everyday case with D3O injection molded into the inside edge of the case as you can see here. And um, these cases come in a range of colors, including colors that will match your iPhone 6 devices. And they meet military specifications for drop protection, and you can drop them up to 3 meters without them damaging the device. So moving on from all the facts and figures, um, we wanted to test these cases in real life situations. So the first one we did was when you're getting out of your car and you had your phone on your lap and it falls onto the ground, having it fall out of your trunk when you're unloading the car, And then this one, I mean, it, it's a little bit extreme, but we put it on top of the car and say you forgot your phone on the top of your car and it rolls off the back. And for the final test, we decided to have a little fun with it just to take our minds off the fact that we are potentially destroying a brand new iPhone 6 by dropping it off of a 10-foot ladder. Hey man, can you pick this case for me, please? Yeah, for sure. What do we got here? So one, uh, one of these. So these Gear 4 cases are suited for a wide range of customers, including males, females, from the professionals all the way to the teenagers who are looking for a slick case that also offers them military specifications for drop-proof protection. They range from $45 to $50, which suits the budgets of all these customers and everyone in between. All right, so just to wrap things up here, guys, so these cases really did pass our everyday tests and our extreme tests from three meters. Actually, initially, we only meant to do that test one time, but had to do it three to get the right shots. So it survived all three, which is very, uh, it gives you some confidence in this line. And thanks to the D3O, we really can see that this does absorb the impact around the outside of the case instead of passing it through to the device. And it appeals to the masses, thanks to the colors and the styles that this line has to offer. So that wraps up this episode of What's in the Box. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll see you next time.